Hello world, welcome to another hotel review vlog and my name is Richie Josie. and we are Filipinos based in Thailand and we, we are living in Thailand for quite some time now Welcome guys to Santhea Tree Resort and I am now standing in this beautiful manicured lawn in front of the main building there where we are staying right now. So if you see we are, uh, it seems like we are living in the Imperial Thai Palace because it seems that you're like a princess considering you have this kind of umbrella and the background of it all and the facade of the building. So who could have thought that this is just an ordinary hotel? It's not, guys. It's a five-star hotel. I'll tell you what, come over so you can experience five-star treatment. So this guy will take our baggage to the to our room, but we're gonna put a car outside the hotel because we didn't have space yeah. for a car park. Yeah. Okay. Okay, is it open? No, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna. So let's open it. And we'll have ice. Uh, if you check in guys, uh, they will ask for a deposit of 3,000 baht if it's cash and 1,000 baht if it's from the credit card which will be refundable when you check out. That's massive. Guys, that's massive. But just be aware that this is like a nature resort. So you need to have your mosquito repellent everywhere you go because especially this time of year where it's raining. Yeah there's a lot of mosquitoes and then uh, just be aware too that we have steps here and we're gonna carry our stuff all the way up there right Richie and there's no parking inside the parking is outside the hotel which is really good I suppose it's just near and now we're gonna go up to our room what else did I miss something uh, check-in we talk about check-in that's done now we're gonna go to our room. We're taking the elevator. Yeah, we're. Ooh, did you see the details, guys? Look at the massive building. Okay, wait. You're here. <laughs> right, Richie, are you excited? Yes. Actually, but I'm sweating. Me too. Yeah. You're gonna give. Yeah. Do you have? Yeah. Help. I'll just have the cash later. Mm. Mm, nice. Okay. Oh, third floor. Oh, nice. Third floor. Oh, gosh. Good view, good view. Wow, guys. Look at that. Oh, no. Very good view. Look at the view, guys. That's where we check in. The sea, which is just there. Right after the trees. Yes. And let's see where our room is. <laughs> All right, so let's start with the tour and let's begin with the food. What can you say about the food, Michelle? It's good, mm -hmm. <laughs> yummy. There's a lot of choices, especially for Western uh, people like us. Mm -hmm. And there are also nice Asian cuisine. That's right. And everything is uh, presented nicely. Plus the stuff greets you well and accommodates you very early in the morning so that you will feel good when you're eating your breakfast with a very nice mountain view. And one thing guys, the, the restaurant was just so massive. Um, there's a lot of space. Actually, this is our first breakfast and it was just so amazing. The staff here are so friendly, you know. See me, man? Yes. You want to come to you, right? Yeah. Definitely.
guys, they have shomai here, but I cannot eat the shomai because it's shrimp, but I can eat the buns, custard buns. Yeah. Shomai, oh, interesting. Now, which one is custard? Which one is custard? Do you have custard? Honey? Honey? Yeah. Okay, I have one. So we are going to talk about the land area of this hotel. This is massive, guys, because there are two areas in this hotel. We've got the main building and the villa zone. So for the main building, you've got three floors and each of these floors have designated places the first floor is for the restaurant and the main lap pool mm. and the second and third floors will be for the room which have pools all of the rooms have pools and after that when you go to the next side of this hotel facing the ocean you've got all the villa zone in there with the reception and the restaurant and the beachfront so uh, we're taking you now on a walk through those zones We are entering the villa zone, ladies and gentlemen, so come follow me! I like how it feels to be in the middle of the jungle, but there are still rooms here in the villas. It's really nice. I'm gonna close my umbrella. Okay, so this place is huge. The complex is huge. There's approximately 20-ish uh, plus villas in here with pool villas and just your normal villas. But I guess that most of the villas have their own private pool. Then there's like a compound villa where you and your friends and family can rent one single row of villas and you have the whole pool by yourself. So it's near the end of this stretch where you will see the main pool of this hotel. It's just beside the beach. So we are yeah, we are drawing close to the to the end of this line and I want to show you how cool it is to spend your sunsets and your sunrise here on the beach side what we have here oh this is the villas i'm talking about guys there's uh four five six something inside and your family and friends can have a villa each plus you have your own private pool. actually we can go in just oh. there so okay. we can have like a footage, okay? Sure. Let's go, guys. This is what I'm talking about, guys. So they have their own private pool. You've got four, five rooms in here. And they have their own private mini pool. It's not even mini, it's huge, actually. And we are going on the opposite side, guys. Let us see how is the setup. Like this. So I will not just go over that way because, of course, people are residing in here. But Richie will just pan the camera around so you will see. This hotel is situated on the beachfront of Klong Prao Beach, guys, and that means you have a lot of convenience stores outside, mm -hmm. but you have to drive your car because it's a little bit of a long way going mm -hmm. out, around one kilometer-ish to the main road. Mm -hmm. So you will find 7-Elevens, massage parlors, Tesco's, and a little onwards you've got macros and big C's so everything is quite centralized in here but of course it is recommended to come with a car or a motorbike that you can rent inside the hotel because it has like a winding road from the 
from the main road coming over here with a little mini dirt road mm -hmm. before you hit the hotel itself. Yeah. So what can you say, Richie? Is this a nice location? Yeah, it is because it's really accessible to to the necessity or essential needs that you guys uh, want to to have. Because as what Michelle said, it was really close to the the shops, you know, grocery stores and stuff like that. So yeah, very, very nice. And it was surrounded with trees, you know, you are like in the mountain and then seas. So it's a very good location. That is why I think we're gonna rate this hotel. This is a five star five hotel. Five star nice. hotel, so five star rating. So it's a good, good one. So we are now approaching the beachfront guys and here we have the restaurant Chantara and the main pool which everyone can use, even the main building people can use. Uh, and I believe that this hotel did not uh, think about uh, anything else when they built it. They just thought of the guest pleasure and comfortability. So everyone must have a share of swimming whether it will be in the room or in the communal pool area. So let's go! It's a little gloomy guys, but I'm pretty sure the villas look great and this area will look great still if it's gloomy or sunny. Right, Richie? Mm -hmm. So we are here in the restaurant. We are not gonna go there uh, for now. It's quiet at the moment. Yeah, it's quiet at the moment. Maybe the, the people are like exploring the island right now. Yeah, we maybe are, they went island we are, hopping. Yeah. Right? Yeah, maybe. Or so trekking. We, we are the one who's just walking up. Can we go up and then take a video? Sure, we on the go whole, up here on the gonna, terrace. Like, and then we're gonna take, take a video. video to the pool. So guys, look at how massive this place is. That's, this is the restaurant, guys. But we are not eating inside. But instead, we are taking our footage. Guys, so that's the main pool where everyone can just go and take a dip. And then I am looking across over the bar, the beach bar, mm -hmm. where you can have your cocktails and mocktails during happy hours. <laughs> and of course, in the video, we are just beside the sea. This hotel is beside the sea. So you can also take a swim if it's not too windy and too, um, you know, the waves are too high. You can take a dip and yeah just chill and relax in here it's a really nice cozy friendly family hotel I'm looking at the bulletin board of Santia guys so here you can see all the prevention of allergies because they have safety measures so if you're allergic to something they have the, the recommendations and everything they have their shop and the shuttle services the spa so actually everything is in here guys but what I like most is if you come over and you decided to stay for a week, it will be nice if you take the course of cooking class yeah. or the carving class. Mm. I believe the carve, if you are an in-house guest, the carving class is 450 baht per person. So they will teach you how to carve watermelons or melons, uh, any sort of fruit. And if you want to do the cooking class, it's 2,500 each person if you want to participate. So for cooking class, I do remember it's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. For the carving, it's MWF. So each day, there will be something for you to enjoy if you just stay inside the hotel. And if you don't want to go kayaking like this one, they recommend kayak, where is that here? Kayak and paddleboard, they also have that because they have trekking in the mountains too. So if you don't fancy adventurous 
stuff. Uh, like especially me, I'm allergic to sun and the seawater combined. So if you don't want that, you can do their classes and it will be worth it, I, I guess. Because I haven't been on those classes yet. But if I do, I would recommend you do it because it will be a good experience if you come over to Santilla. So right, so this is what you have been waiting for, the room tour. So this is also one that we actually love about this hotel. So that is one of the reasons why we choose this hotel because of the room. So now I'll give you the full review or tour this room. So let's go guys. Okay guys, so we're gonna come in. Let's, there. Go. let's go in. Let me show you in your room. Thank oh, you. Wow, it smells nice, guys. Smells good. <gasps> what a view! Okay, let's go straight to the back. And that's the view, guys. Look at the mountains and the pool. Welcome to our room, guys. It's room 2311 on the third floor. So, behind me is the door, of course. And when you come in through the foyer, you will see. A big mirror here. <laughs> so if you are, you know, in your nice clothes and you can have like a full length mirror, that is really good, guys. And the opposite side is the toilet. Let's come in the toilet. Let's take a look around. What do we have here? This is our shower. Shower. Let me step in. I'm stepping in, guys. Oh, it's an elephant head. And guys, how cool is that? Everything you see is wood, solid wood, conditioner. I think this one is shampoo. Pretty sure this is shampoo, but it smells good. It smells like a spa, right, Richie? Mm -hmm. It's really nice. And you have that intricate Thai wood pattern on the ceiling and the walls. It is really a modern Lana take. That's what I'm saying, right? When we went to Chiang Mai, we like boutique hotels, especially mm -hmm. if it's authentic Thai and Lana style. This one is one of the best Lana hotels ever. So here's our bidet. Quite good, ready for your uh, calling. And here is, here's your phone and here's the drawer. Uh, yeah, I mean the door, the double doors. If you can see that door, two double doors. Mm -hmm. And you might wonder where's our bathtub. I'll show you later. But first, let me appreciate this basin. I think this one is handmade. Yeah, handmade and hand painted. This mm -hmm. is really nice, guys. It smells really oh. minty, woody. This one is coconut, right? And then they put a light bulb inside. Oh, interesting. It's very creative. Yeah. Even, even the cups, guys. Yeah, it's, it's customized. Wow. Look at that. It's customized. Santilla. Santilla tree. Tree. This is really beautiful. And oh, also wow. the towel. Yeah. So clean and if it's I have good. money, if I have like seriously, if I have money, extra money, I will buy the towels of the hotel guys because mm. they are like good quality and they have the embroidered stuff so that means you have to go to that hotel because you <laughs> already experienced that maybe i should start collecting hotel towels what do you think maybe or maybe this is the right time to get one yeah. because look at that look at the embroidery guys look at that very beautiful i think really i should get the quality one. as well the quality was just yeah. amazing look at the for the sake of remembrance right we need to have hotel towels for the sake of remembrance okay mm -hmm. so guys because last time yes when we went to Chiang Mai. Shang Mai, I, I bought my sleeper. sleeper. So Ooh. maybe this time. A towel. A towel. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, let's go out of the toilet.
So guys, after the toilet is your sink, which you can like, if you have dishes, especially if you go out at night and have food, you can have noodles or a cup joke. So they have a kettle, you can warm your water. You can have that. And you also have like, it's not a mini fridge now, it's quite huge. Nothing inside because they expect you to put something. So we will be putting something <laughs> later. What is in here? Oh, just storage for food and maybe slippers because it's huge. Okay, guys, a pantry of wine glasses, but we don't drink wine, so that's fine. Okay, there's a day bed here. Actually, there you could have three persons in this room. Mm. One for this bed, which is really nice. And as you can see the details of the room, guys, we've got a jar, a basket for our clothes, two umbrellas for raining, and just a props umbrella if it's sunny, like an like a Thai umbrella. Yeah, we can also use we that also use this for, for the later. you know the photo session yes. outside. And I like the wall there. You like the, yeah. you like the wall, right? Wow. Solid wood. Oh my gosh, I like it. And guys, the one that she stepped onto is a guess what <laughs> it's to check whether you gain weight you gain yeah. weight and i gain weight so let's just put that here and what we have here a nice elephant shape lamp stand and all the information of the room is here you can just dial any of those numbers you've got your phone straight to the reception a bed with a mosquito net, a modern one. Okay, so let's take a roll. Oh, and ah, it is really a comfortable bed, Richie boy. It is. It's quite like it's like big. A, yeah. I think it's a king's bed size. Yeah, it is. If there's wood here, that will be a four poster bed. Mm. I thought it will be a four poster bed, then I realized it's only the the mosquito net here so which is still nice a nice touch guys and what do we have in your in my front is the TV with our welcome name when we came but of course uh, it, it's not there already they're showing us where to go mm. inside the hotel and what we have here we've got the bag which you can take to the beach here guys the bag for your stuff to go to the yeah. beach that's okay. nice that is really nice Okay. So by the way, one of the best thing about this hotel, I mean this room, is when you turn this camera over here, this is the best and this is my favorite part of the hotel every hotel i requested this to me show if there is something like this you know when i open this i'll show you how beautiful it is guys we got a bathtub outside the room and this is the most essential thing for me because after all the the travels all the, the day trips i need to relax maybe 30 minutes on the bathtub so this is the best part for me and there's only there's not only this but there's another a huge swimming pool you can see that one guys and there's another day bed here after you to go to the, go to the pool you can also see them relax and you know and maybe read your book or ipad or something look at the view Look at the view, guys. Infinity pool. Look at that. And there's a river down there up at the back. It's a river. It's a river? Yeah. Oh. oh. You know that one, guys? You know what is that, Richie? Mm. The, the White Houses? Yeah. That's Aana Resort mm -hmm. and Spa. That's the first choice that I have mm -hmm. as a hotel. Mm -hmm. And this one is Richie's choice, Cynthia. So we mm. go with Cynthia. Mm -hmm. And if it's Aana, guys i would have to get the top room there mm -hmm. 
the one with like a cone shape. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. So do you like our room, Rich yeah, Boy? I like it. Okay. And I think this is another uh, unique hotel to be honest. Um, I think it's a five star hotel. I never um, investigate about this hotel, but it seems like the service so far is, is, is fantastic. Guys, we forgot there's a vanity table here with a mirror. And then there's four sarongs here. This is for the beach. Uh, they recommend that we take this when we go swimming to the beach because it's a traditional Thai outfit. So that's why we have this. It's pretty nice though. It's very comfy, I think, and mm -hmm. very cool. And then they have their snacks and drinks, which you can order if you want a mini set, a brew set, family, an ultimate set. So they will buy everything for you guys and you just have to pay. And here's the in-room dining, your food. Pretty much everything here is really good, guys. Even the bottle of water, look. That's the man's costume, right? Mm. And here's the ladies. Mm-hmm. So cute. Amazing. That is why many love to recommend this hotel to people like us because they know that we will surely love this one yeah so that's my little reflection of Santhea Tree Ko Chang I love this hotel it smells really good like mint and wood and green at the same time I'm not sure how I can describe that but that's like the scent of the spa coming in from I don't know where but the room smells like that so I hope that you also will feel relaxed looking at this room made of wood solid wood guys. I think we're gonna end this vlog here so thank you so much everybody for your time and watching this vlog and i hope to see you again on our next vlog um i don't know where we'll be but stay tuned and click the notification button guys so that you will be updated of what's going on on this just channel because we love to show the Thai culture, the Thai places that we love to go. So stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, and see you later. Peace. What is your name, sir? My name is Touch. Touch. Yes. Oh, Kuntach. nice name, Kontach. Thank you. All right. <laughs> and you, what is your name? Richie. Richie. Nice yeah. to meet you, Richie. Thank you so much, sir. R I T C H E, then space 33, and another space film. That is my YouTube channel. Another space and film. Film, yeah. And that one. Uh, yeah, that one. That one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you one of the manager here, right? No, I'm just restaurant supervisor. Oh, yeah. I see. Nice meeting you. I've seen you in the restaurant this That's morning. Part, yes, please. Yeah, you oh. you are you are really good. You're thank fantastic. You, you're greeting you. everyone. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. Okay, already. Oh, thank you for subscribing. You're welcome. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna publish this maybe next week. Yes, already everyone. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome.